Hi guys, this is Dr. Bupesh once again from Dr. BKM Moit Institute. Today we have got a very different topic from normally what we do. And I'm just going to read the topic again for you all in front of you because I haven't done that topic before. There is no recording for the same. So I will put that thing uh, on the YouTube as well. So the thing is, uh, there is a nurse setting and basically nurse setting is basically our setting and we are in the children hospital emergency department so in emergency department most of the times uh, you don't say you know good morning my name is this normally because you have less time but yeah you can introduce yourself good you can say mon good morning or you can say morning my name is means otherwise i think in emergency department i don't know whether we should say good morning or not but again let's see how it goes but yeah good morning my name is bupesh i am a nurse over here in this emergency department how can i help you how can I help you? Well, nurse, I am father of Isabelle. Okay. Yeah, I, I would like to tell you that Isabelle has just been admitted as she fell from a tree. Yes, nurse. I also got to know about this, that my daughter fell from the tree. And, uh, you know, her school has informed me about the same, that she has fallen from a tree. So I want to see her. Well, uh, I, I really understand. Don't worry. You can have a seat over here. And please have this glass of water and try to calm yourself down doctor is uh you know kind of doing ct scan and x-ray uh who is inside but nurse i want to see my daughter as quickly as possible uh what has happened to my daughter as i have already told you sir that your daughter actually fell from a tree and uh, i'm sorry to inform you these are the things i'm sorry to inform you you don't have to drop your voice because you are a professional at the same time you need to be little sympathetic or empathetic you know, uh, I'm sorry to inform you, uh, but she is suspected with a skull fracture. And that is why uh, to rule out or to see what exactly has happened, your daughter requires CT scan and X-ray. So doctor is inside with her and he is taking CT scans and X-ray. Well, nurse, I want to go inside. I want to see my daughter. I can't stay here. I have already told you. So he will create panic. Obviously, every parent will. So you say, I totally understand, Mr. John, that um, you want to see your daughter. But I would like to, uh, you know, advise you that you should wait in the waiting room while the procedures are being done. I'm sorry to inform you, but that is according to the hospital policy and hospital protocol that in such circumstances, um, we can't allow the parents to go in. But nurse, what is this kind of policy that I can't see my own daughter like how would I get to know about his progress? See, um, I totally understand. I totally understand the kind of thing you are feeling at the moment. But to be honest, these policies have been created for the benefit of the patient himself or herself. Like now Isabelle is inside. So CT scan and x-rays are conducted by our doctors who are experts in this particular domain, in this particular field. So for that, they require no hindrance. Like in x-rays, you can also get, uh, you know, the bad effects of the rays. And also there are other pol other factors due to which this policy has been created so that doctors can see your daughter nicely and they should not miss out on anything. So that is why these policies have been created to make sure that the diagnosis goes fine. And at the same time, you being, uh, you know, the person should not be exposed to any kind of rays and also for the doctor himself so that he can see it nicely. So it is important to stay here rather than going inside. But nurse, like, I don't know what is ongoing. See, I understand again that you are not feeling good about it. But again, I would like to tell you that a skull fracture is suspected and that is why it's CT scan and X-ray are being taken very quickly. So I just request you to wait only for five to 10 minutes and straight away after that doctor will call you inside. And, uh, but nurse, again, I'm feeling really, really kind of anxious. Please don't be anxious. We all are here for you. And I would like to reassure you that we have team of expert doctors. So they will definitely take care of your daughter in the best possible way. And also I would like to tell you that as soon as doctor sees your daughter and gets to know about uh, the results they will immediately call you inside and they will immediately explain you everything but at this moment as it seems like an internal injury uh, again but 
I'm sorry to say, but I hope she would be fine. So you please stay calm and please uh, wish. And we are also wishing that your daughter should be fine and there should not be anything serious. But for the time being, please stay in the waiting room and wait for your daughter and doctor to call you in. And doctors need peace and uh, you know they want to examine your daughter in the best possible way. If you will go inside, in that case also doctors can be distracted and it can affect the right diagnosis. So for the proper diagnosis, as well as according to medical policy, please it is requested to you to stay over here with us and doctor will call you very soon. Are you getting my point? Uh, okay, nurse, I will wait. Thank you for understanding and thank you for your cooperation, uh, Mr. John. And uh, please have this glass of water and doctors will call you very soon. Okay, and if you need anything, please let us know. We all are here to help you. That's it. So again, two things about this role play. You don't have to reassure anything in this role play. And first thing about this role play is good morning. My name is whatever your names are. So my name is Bupesh. I'm a nurse over here. How may I help you? Well, nurse, I'm here for my daughter, Isabelle. Okay. So your are, is your name Mr. John? Yes. Yes, we have already got to know Mr. John that Isabelle is your daughter. So please calm down and have a seat. And uh, doctors are inside with your daughter and uh, they are taking care of you. But what happened to my daughter? Well, um, well, Mr. John, uh, you know, she has been admitted because she has fallen from a tree. And uh, I'm really sorry to inform you that a skull fracture has been suspected due to which doctors have taken her inside for the CT scan and x-rays. But nurse, I want to go inside. Well, I'm again sorry to uh, inform you, Mr. John, that you can't go inside because doctors are examining her. So for the proper diagnosis, it is important for you to stay out and also to prevent the exposure of the radiations. And due to other things, these policies have been created. And according to medical protocol, during the CT scan or x-rays, a parent should not go in. So these are the things you can say. Obviously, if it comes in the final exam, they want to test your patients that how do you take care of the patient, whether you get panic or not. These are the main things. That is, this is the perfect role play to tell you guys that OET is not about knowledge. OET is about how do you manage the patient. That is what they want to know, that whether you can manage the patient or not. This is Dr. Bhupesh, again from Dr. BKM OET Institute. Please subscribe our channel if you have not until now. Keep watching more videos of Dr. BKM OIT Institute for the best preparation of OIT exam. For the best coaching, you may contact us on the same number 7696734256. Thank you.